today we're spreading with a Fent 722, Fent 1, with an Amazon ZATS 4200. We're going to be spreading a product on a mint peppermint field, and we are going to go over setting up the machine um, with our fertilizer that we found in our app provided by Amazon. So first off, I have it on my phone. Now I'm going to go ahead and enter it into the machine. I'm going to add a new one. I'm going to grab it. And I'm going to, I'm going to label it. Pretty self-explanatory at this time. We just go through everything from the app and in, in, enter it into the system. Now we have everything installed in the machine. We have changed our documentation so we can keep track of the current field um, for the, the customer's records. We have entered the rate of 329 pounds to the acre and we're going to be spreading at 100 feet. Our machine's ready to go. We have not installed fertilizer yet. So I'm going to open our tarp and I'm going to zero the scales out so we are ready for the fertilizer when it gets here. We are going to go ahead and start spreading. We're going to do our border spread. So I'm going to turn it on to this ditch spreading for the customer's request. I'm going to start our spinner assemblies, a long hold, an audible warning, and release. Let the machine equalize out. Now we are ready to proceed. little bumpy here crossing some uh, linear tracks so got to slow down We're currently getting ready to do our test mat procedure. So what we have done, we have gone out and spread some with the machine to get it to calibrate, to know the load based upon what the density and the product is that we're spreading. So now we're spreading at 100 feet. So we're gonna take the mats, we snapped an AB line, and we're gonna put four mats out right where we would go over with the AB line. And then we're gonna go 16 and a half feet, 33 and a half feet, and 50 feet and then we will spread across it and both sides to ensure that we have an even overlap and we have a spread pattern. Doing the test matting is only going to take care of our spread pattern and has nothing to do with our rate. The rate is based upon the scales and the torque sensors on the spinners. So now we have 16 mats set up. Like I said previous, we will spread across and either side and then we'll use the app provided by Amazon and take a picture of each individual mat to ensure that we're getting the equal spread pattern we need from center to outside. If any changes are needed at that time, you input into the ISOBUS display and go spread again and test until it tells you that your um, settings are complete or accurate to what they can do. Sometimes, no, most of the time, it will take one to two times of test matting and then periodically through the time of spreading, if you're spreading the same material all the time, it's a good idea to give a test periodically. In between, in changing of seasons, changing of manufacturers or distributors of the fertilizer, you need to test mat. Each product, you need to test mat. It gets a little overwhelming, but once you've done it a few times, it's very easy.
test mat. And take pictures of each mat. That's the time we use our Easy Check Mat app and we are taking pictures of each mat in the app. The app has been updated so it will see um, any inert material that's not fertilizer. That was the most recent app update. It's very helpful now. That's a nice thing. It takes a little bit of time, but once you get it tested and it likes it through the app, it's very accurate. Good. Your settings are good. High five. It's important to keep your sensors clean, checking them every time you fill up your box and then just want to wipe them off. This will help with your accuracy of keeping your pattern consistent and the visual that comes out of the radar is very important for helping keeping the consistency of how it layers together with its data. So we finished the field for the customer here. Uh, according to our records here, we did 36.4 acres with 11,918 pounds. That is pretty close to rate. Let's look. 918 divided by 36.4. Well, we were shooting for 30, 329 per acre and we ended up at 327.4. So we were short, slightly off, but some of that could have been me and my boundary driving. So. Looks like the machine is calibrating and getting to know itself and the fertilizer. The more you use the machines, the more, the smarter and the better they operate for you. This is a FET1, the integration between the ISO and the Amazon box. Being able to have it on the screen by itself and being able to see your GPS screen and a separate screen in the cab gives you a lot more ability to see what you're doing at the same time. It is very accurate. There's a lot of data that it collects and puts together, which makes the performance of this box very good. Really, at the end of the day, gets a lot of work done for the grower. All right, that concludes the spreading on a peppermint field with a Fent 722 and Amazon ZATS 4200. If you have any questions, contact your local Holt representative and we'll be more than happy to bring you a demo.